What makes DNA different to other complex molecules is that it self-replicates, creating copies of itself through a process called reproduction. Organisms can reproduce in two ways. The first is asexual, where asexual reproduction is usually fast, and because the offspring are essentially clones of the parent, it offers very little variation. Sexual reproduction creates a new organism by combining the genes of two parent organisms. There are disadvantages to sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction, unlike asexual, is slow and takes a lot of energy. This isn't good when the environment isn't changing much. It has a big advantage though, and this is the variation of alleles inherited from the parents during meiosis. This variation can be beneficial, and so it can be important for survival in a changing environment. Sexual reproduction has two important processes. Meiosis is the process where reproductive cells split in half to make sex cells or gametes. When they split, they split their chromosomes in half as well. Fertilization is the process where a gamete from both parents fuses together, and the chromosome halves join together to produce full new chromosomes of the offspring. Humans have 46 chromosomes, which is 23 pairs. The 23rd chromosome pair determines sex. In women, the 23rd chromosome pair is made from two X chromosomes, and in men, from an X chromosome and a Y chromosome. So the gametes produced by a female through meiosis are always X, but in a male can be X or Y. When the gametes fuse together, they form a zygote, with an XX 23rd chromosome pair to produce a female, or an XY 23rd chromosome pair to produce a male. Fertilization doesn't just determine sex. All genes join together to make new pairs or alleles. Alleles can be dominant or recessive. Genotypes are the pair of alleles. If we use an uppercase A to represent the dominant allele and a lowercase a to represent recessive, we can see the different combinations of alleles. The physical traits that genotypes represent are called phenotypes. Let's say we're looking at the genotype for hair. Big A is straight hair and little a is curly. We could then have four different combinations. Big A, big A, big A, little a, little a, big A, and, and two little a's. In a pair of alleles, the dominant gene always wins, in this case straight hair. So we can see three genotypes will produce the straight hair phenotype, and one will produce the curly hair phenotype. Here's some key things to remember. In asexual reproduction, organisms create identical copies of themselves. In sexual reproduction, the reproductive cells of parents split by meiosis to produce gametes that fuse together with those of the other partner in fertilization, giving genetic variation. Pairs of genes are genotypes and produce physical traits called phenotypes. In sexual reproduction, dominant genes beat recessive genes. Recessive genes only win when there are no dominant genes in the genotype.